Well, here we are. Somehow, subway, we've made it to the FCS spring season. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, crazy stuff we got going on. There's just one game so far, um, the only game that is scheduled, and it's just been revealed today that it will be on a Fox Sports Southwest. I know they're called the Bali Sports Networks now, but you know. Fox Sports Southwest Plus, you know, and stuff like that, and the streaming on Fox Sports Go. And that is Tarleton State taking on McNeese State. Now, Tarleton State is a D2 team coming up to Division One. They'll be in transition for a while. We know that they are in the WAC conference. They will be in the WAC football conference. It remains to be seen how the WAC goes about things for the 2021 season, but. You know, it, it is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see, you know. Um, pretty good defense right there. Pretty good defense Tarleton State has. Well, you know, you know Todd Witten, the head coach, he's got he's got things going on. He's, he's, he's got this defense. You know, they went to the playoffs last year, D2, and got knocked out. But they know how to get this defense running with – a nice running back in Khalil Banks, you know, who's also ready to do some damage on the ground. Now, it remains to be seen, you know, I haven't seen either of these two teams play at all because, I mean, you know, COVID was ravaging stuff and everything like that. But, um, for McNeese State, it is, it's a new era, new era out here. You know, the Southland has been ravaged by, by teams, you know, going to the WAC and going to the A-Sun. But, hey, Frank Wilson. Y'all remember Frank Wilson from UTSA, right? Yeah, he's coaching McNeese now. And he's, 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 got, he's got some time. You know, he's had some time to figure out what's been going on with this team, what's, what's, what's been working in recruiting, what has been working, what's the offensive scheme looking like, what the defense has been looking like. And then there's also a backup you know, by the name of Cody Ogeron. You know, just just a guy named Ed Ogeron's son. You know the LSU head coach. Yeah, that guy. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff right there. You know, it's I assume that Cody Ogeron will be the starter for McNeese. And hopefully this game goes on as planned. It'll be Saturday, you know, again, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, I believe. Uh, yeah, mostly on ESPN Plus, but I know that there's going to be a Fox Sports Southwest Plus stream as well, and right on Fox Sports Go. So hopefully, you know, we can get you know get a stream out for that. You know, watch that in combination with some NBA. You know, on Saturday night, and then boom, Saturday night's gonna look good. And there's also Elijah Mack, a very good, very good running back for McNeese State again. And as far as, you know, more opt-outs have happened, you know, as far as college football is concerned in the FCS, there's about 30-something teams now. Norfolk State just dropped out, and now the MEAC probably has to redo their schedule. Probably has to redo it. It'll probably be, you know, you know round-robin you know, with five teams left as well. Again... I don't know what the A Sun and the WAC are going to do for 2021. I do know that maybe the Big South Appalachian will still be there for 2021, as far as Kennesaw State and North Alabama go. And um, yeah, but the A Sun and the WAC, it seems like there's some there's some tricky things going on with that too, as far as you know guidelines and automatic qualifying status and stuff like that. And it's all just a bunch of mumbo jumbo right now. But we'll find that out when we find that out. You know, as we get through the spring season, and hopefully, you know, there's going to be games, you know, where there's not going to be a whole lot of teams playing, or there's just not going to be a whole lot of games to be played. It just is what it is. So, see you guys after this week. Y'all take care.